Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high. High to the sky. And then, let's go down low. Touch our toes. then let's go back up high again guys and this time can we go tippy toe high and while we're there let's have a wave very good and then back down to touch your toes great stuff and then stands up let's have a shake arms and legs let's shake it out arms and legs Give a good shake. And then hands on hips. And we'll have a wiggle side to side. Stop. And then we'll have another wiggle side to side. Stop. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. And stop. And then we'll go round and round. Give our spines a nice stretch, round and round. And stop. And then we can go the other way. Back round and round the other way. Round and round. And stop. That's excellent, guys. And to finish, we'll do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. So lately, we've been learning about a thing in mathematics, a way of reading, analysing and presenting facts and figures. And that word begins with D. Can we remember? Data. Data. Excellent. Well remembered, guys. D. A. T. A. Data. And data means facts, figures and numbers. And in the previous lesson, we began learning about a specific way to present data. Because remember, we've already discussed when we talk about data, there's three steps. There's step number one, collecting. Step number two, organizing. And then step number three, presenting. And can anybody remember in the previous lesson, what type of presentation did we do? 
We've already done pictograms. We've already done bar charts. We began to do pie charts. Excellent. Well done, Lack Gown. Now, who can tell me what shape is a pie chart? Circle, yeah. What shape is a pie? Circle. So that's why we call it a pie chart. So let's draw a nice circle on the board. So there you go. There's our outline of our pie chart. Now, who can remember what percentage the entire pie is? Excellent. Well done. The entire pie is 100%. So we'll write 100% on the top. And when we're doing pie charts, I think it's always best, particularly when our students are learning, if 100% is the total percentage of the pie chart, when we're talking about numbers of people, it's always best to use 100 people, because then one person equals 1%. So in this pie chart explanation that I'll do now, the demonstration will be based on 100 people. 100 people. P E O P L E. Now, today, for this second pie chart demonstration, yesterday we did colours. Today we'll do another topic. How about today, animals? A N I M A L S. Okay guys, so now, can you give me three or four different types of animals? Dog, okay. D, O, G. Cat, rabbit, okay. So we've got cat, C, A, T, rabbit, R, A, B, B, I, T. And one more animal. Spider. Really? Okay, we'll see about spider too. S P I D E R. So remember, 100 people is our total. So that means that the numbers of each of the four different animals must add up to what? 100. Yes, we ask 100 people about their favorite animals. So how many shall we say for dogs? 50. 50. Okay, 50 is a good way to start because 50 is exactly half the pie chart. So 50 people like dogs. So that means what's half of 100? 50. So it will be half of the pie chart. So straight away, one half of the pie chart Dogs. So that only leaves 50% left. So now, guys, we need to have three animals made up of the other 50%. How about cats? Again. One number. 27. Okay. 27. So now we have to work out this final portion is 50%. What's half of 50? 25. So another half of a half would be here. But 27 is slightly more than 25. So what we'll need to do is just draw a slightly bigger line there. Not quite a quarter, just a little bit more. Each time we do a segment of pi, we have to base it on the calculations. So now, cats... C A T S. Okay, that means 50 plus 27, 77 people already. We only have 23 people left. So the final two animals must be 23. So how many for rabbits? 18. Okay. One, eight. So that means that our rabbits will be 18. So, R, A, B, B, I, T, S. 
rabbits. Okay. How many for dogs? How many for cats? How many for rabbits? Okay. That means that the number that's left over that is less than 100 is our amount for spiders. So let's see. 50 plus 27. 77. 77 plus 18. 95. 95. So 100 minus 95. 5. So that means we've got our amount for spiders. And not surprisingly, in our pie chart, spiders is the least amount of favorites. So you can see spiders here. S P I D E R S. So you can see how our pie charts represent the different amounts of data based on the size of the segment of each pie. And what we're going to do now is we're going to rub our data off the board and then we're going to invite students forward to demonstrate their understanding. So we'll still use the four animals, but what we'll do now is we'll use different numbers. So what I would like now is for my students to close their eyes. And when they wake up, one of them will have a pen. I will write the number for dogs as our first category. Let's open our eyes, guys. Who has the pen? La Gao. La Gao will be the first person to demonstrate how to draw a pie chart. So, guys, what's the number I've written for dogs? How many people like dogs? 25. 25. So, we have to think, what's 25% of our pie? 50% would be half. But then half of 50 is 25. So, Lakau, if you can draw one quarter of the pie. That's perfect. And then another line going up. Excellent. So you see, 25 people represents one quarter of the pie. And don't forget, put your animal inside. Dogs. O G S. Excellent. So we can see straight away, dogs, 25 people, represents one quarter of the pie. Lakau, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Lakau. And now it's time for our next animal. So let's close our eyes, guys. Okay, let's open our eyes. Pat, come and join me at the front. Okay, so now the amount for our next animal is in. What's the amount for our next animal, cats, guys? 50. Okay, and what is 50 in relation to 100? Half. Excellent. So what we can do, we're looking at half the pie. But this time, we don't draw it straight down because we have dogs already. This time, we can just draw half of our pie going along the bottom. So, Pat, you can just carry on the straight line going across here. Perfect. And you see, cats, 50 people like cats is their favourite, which is half of 100, so it's half the pie. And now, Pat, just to finish, can you write? C A T S. That's perfect. Pat, that was brilliant. Well done. High five and a big round of applause for Pat. So, two animals left. We have rabbit and spider. So, we have 25 and 50. That's 75 people already. So let's see, rabbit. Let's 
Let's open our eyes, guys. Now who has the pen? Rao, come and join me at the front, please. So the amount for our next animal is how many, guys? Our rabbit has... 20. Okay, so what's our remaining segment in total? 25 plus 50 is how much? 75. 100 minus 75 means there's 25 left. But rabbit takes up 20. So, Prel, how much of the segment will you draw? You need to leave about five over. So, I think we can judge it to about here. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I made it too big, but proud, that's excellent. So you see now, we can do rabbit here. A, B, B, I, T. Proud, that's brilliant. And well done with your segment of pie. So you see, what we've got now, we've got a little amount left over that we need to do for our final animal. Prel, excellent. High five, big round of applause for Prel. Okay, final animal time, guys. And this time, all we need to do, 25 plus 50. How much? 25 plus 50? 75. 75 plus 20? 95. 95. What's 100 minus 95? 5. So we know already our final animal and our final amount. We just need somebody to complete. Bangbon, come and join me at the front. And this is the easy one. It's already done. We already have our final segment of pie here. All we need to do is write in our animal name. Well, can you write going down? Spider. S P I D E Ah, oh, perfect. Our final animal, which is only 5% or five people, is Spider. Bang pun, that was brilliant. High five, big round of applause for Pang Pun. And big round of applause for everyone, guys. That was brilliant. So that was a brief recap and demonstration of how to design a pie chart based on 100 people. And I think when we're learning pie charts, it's always best to use 100 people because it's a direct comparison with 100%. And now we've got a video and a PowerPoint presentation for our students to learn more and better understand about pie charts. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, guys. And now let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation, pie charts. You can see here we've got one pie chart. How many different segments? Four. Four. And you can see the different colours. Green, purple, red, orange. And all of the different segments adds up to what do they add up to? How many percent, guys? 100%. Yes, 100%. Or 100 people, if we do it that way. We can use pie charts to show data or present data. Yes, you can see this pie chart shows the different methods that pupils use traveling to school. We have walking, car, bus, cycle, train, taxi. So now, looking at the pie chart, which is the most popular way of traveling to school? Which colour can you see the most? Which colour? Car. Yes. What colour is car? Red. Red. And as you can see, red is the biggest segment. 
That means car is the most popular method of traveling to school, followed by walking and then cycle. The size of each slice represents the quantity. Yes, like we did on our board demonstration, guys, the number of each animal represents the size of each slice of pie. The total amount represents 100% of pie. Yes, if we've got an entire pie, it's always 100%. Each slice of pie, or segment of pie, represents a percentage. So here we have four fruits. What do we have, guys? We have orange, banana, mango, apple. Now, they're all the same percent. What percent are they all? 25% and there's four fruits so let's count up 25 plus 25 is 50 plus another 25 75 and then 75 plus the final 25 100 so you can see all the different segments adds up to 100% and because they're all equal 25%, they're all the same size. They're all exactly one quarter. And if we have half the pie, represents 30 or 50%. Sorry, the half the pie, 50%. Any questions, guys? Okay, that was excellent. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the video and PowerPoint presentation so that they begin to understand the function and purpose of pie charts, which is to represent the data in an overall pie. And remember, all of the different segments or pieces of pie must always add up to 100% the total of pi. And now it's time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up guys and push in our chairs. This time we'll begin with some rotations. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent. And now we'll do five stretches to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. And now we'll do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's shake it out. Arms and legs, shake it out. Shake it out. Okay, stand still. Arms up. Arms down. Arms up. Arms down. Hug. Out. Hug. Out. One arm up, one arm down. Swap. 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 <laughs> stand still. And to finish, we will do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. And now it's time for our worksheet activity. So what you'll need to do, teachers, is print out a worksheet for each of the students in your class. And what our students need to do is they need to design and colour their own pie chart based on the information that's in the table. 
Now our data is based on favorite foods. Okay, guys? So we've got steak, steak. fish, fish. Noodles, noodles, pizza, pizza. and salads. So what we need to do is look at the amounts of people who like the different foods and design our pie chart like we did on the board based on the amount of people who like each food. So the more people who like the food, the bigger the piece of pie. And remember, all of our people will add up to 100. So it's 100%. And it's a good idea for our students to colour each different segment of pie a different colour. But what's the first thing to do, guys? Write our names on top, yes. So Chu, this one's for you. Pat, here's yours. You're welcome. You're welcome, Pak Bung. Ned, for you. You're welcome, Dan, for you. You're welcome. Bang Bon, for you. Pro, here's yours. And Lakao. So give our students around 18 minutes for this activity because it involves them having to design their own pie chart and call it each segment too. And if our students need any help, you can help them too. Just monitor your class. So guys, pie chart based on the information in your table. You can look at the first food first, which is steak. Steak. How many people like steak? 25. So remember, 25 relates to one quarter of our pie. So steak, you can do as one quarter. Remember, 100% or 100 people is the entire pie. So if we say steak is 25, straight away, that is one quarter of our pie. S, T, E, A, K. Steak. Steak represents one quarter. And what's next, guys? What other foods do we have? We have fish. Now, how many people like fish? 20. So, 20 is less than 25. It's not quite a quarter. So, it won't be to here. 20 will be, if it was 25, it would be to here. But 20 is going to be about there. Slightly less than 25. Steak. Fish. So, so far, we've asked 45 people. There's still 55 to go. So next, noodles. How many people like noodles? 25. 25. Okay, so what does 25 represent, Pak Bung? Half or quarter? Oh, really? Quarter. Okay, so what's helpful to do, if we know we've got a direct quarter... This is 25, so is this. So we can do our next noodles in the opposite quarter. Because you know your top percent is 25 and 25. You can do steak and noodles next to one another because they both represent one quarter of the pie. So you see now, because you have steak as 25, you can do noodles here because it will be exactly the same. 25 and 25. That's okay. You can do that way too. That looks fine too. I just think it's easier to do it this way. If we have 25 and 25, we can just draw a straight line. But if you want to do that way too, you can. Pak Bung, that's good. Okay, next one. Nadia, what's our next food? Pizza. How many people like pizza? 15. Okay, so remember, here we're at 45. So now we have to draw 
15 people, which will be like a slice of pizza. The pizza amount looks like a slice of pizza. P, I, Z, Z, A. 15. So that means our final segment is left for our final food. What do we have? Salad. Excellent chew. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to design their own pie chart based on the information in the table. And I've got a selection of my students here down Pak Bung and Lak Gao, who design brilliant pie charts. And it's a good idea to have different colors for each segment so that we can tell the difference. And everybody did a brilliant job. So well done, guys. <laughs> and that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've had a lovely time doing the pie charts and found it interesting too. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we all wave to say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again next time.